forgiving, look back to the times when you have yourselves become a sinner. And out of the sins that you have committed, the Lord has given you persons or had sent you persons in order to forgive you for the sins that you have committed against them. If people like them had forgiven you, how much the Lord? And for sure, if you have that expanse of sins that have been forgiven and the breath of forgiveness that is being offered to you, that is also the measure of your gratitude and love for having been driven out of that entrapment of sin. And now you see the greatest light, that light that leads you to hope and that opportunity that leads you all the more to decide once again and forever to love even if you have been hurt. Since all of us have been educated in the Augustinian system of education, perhaps you have remembered how St. Augustine would tell us about love. And St. Augustine tells us, if there is love, there should always be that pain. But that pain is born out of love. If you have that love, you're also willing to embrace self-sacrifice, even death to the self, in order for your beloved to gain anew that life that you want to offer him. And this is actually what the Lord has given us. And because of the boundless and flourishing and abundant mercy of God, we have received our forgiveness. And so therefore, we are also going to offer this gift of being forgiven to others who have wronged us, who have hurt us. And that can be a way for us to be liberated from the clutches of emotional bondage or even from the clutches of unforgiveness, of the clutches that lead us towards revenge because we welcome now the gift and the message of God's resurrection, which is to all the more embrace joy because we have been now freed from the snares and bondage of sin. And again, St. Augustine would tell us, we are an Easter people and Alleluia is our song. As we proceed, particularly in our celebration of the Holy Eucharist, there is a part when we are going to exchange peace. Peace that does not mean the end particularly of our struggle. Peace that does not mean that we are going to end our experiences or encounters of agitation, disturbances, or even war and difficulty to be able to forgive. But what is important is that we have opened our lives to receive the grace of God so that if at this moment we have some difficulties to be able to let go and to let God of the pains and of the hurts, then we allow the Lord to take control of our lives so that by His bidding, we will now be directed towards this end goal, which is to unite with Him with so much peace and love because we allow the Lord to enter into our lives and thereby we can worthily celebrate the Easter season, not just on these Sundays, but every day of our life, because our life now is filled with joy. Why? Because we have been released from the bondage and clutches of sin and hurt, and we embrace the gift of new life. And that is the essence of Easter. From the darkness of sin, Christ died for us, and from the death of Jesus, we are redeemed, and we have received the gift of new life. Let this message be your pabaon every day. And I'm grateful to all of you that you have allowed me also to share this wonderful message of the Lord on the second Sunday of Easter, even if we have not known personally each other and for sure, 
you are already at the, at the age of my father. I'm still very young. But we know that the language of God's love and forgiveness is universal. And what more can we say is no other than thank you, Lord, for everything. That gratitude that leads us to unite to become truly the people of God. And for this, we pray that each day of our lives, we can experience the blessings of the Lord. And this will lead us also to unite one another in the bond of peace and love and forgiveness as a family, as a community, and as a people of God. Amen. Please rise. And now let us profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten of him, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things to me, for as men and for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit was born by the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake, he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to the judge the living and the dead and is king now with the long end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who in the Father and the Son is the Lord and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sin. And I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the prophet of God. Amen. We are among those who believe in the resurrection of Jesus, even though we never put our fingers in the nail marks in his hands, nor touch his wound side. Let us renew our profession of faith in the risen Christ as we address our petition to him, saying, Our Lord and our God, hear us. Our Lord and our God, hear us. Arthur. That both the universal church and each local community may always offer the the edifying example of unity, sincere devotion, and care for the poor. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, hear us. That our ecclesial organizations and institutions may become factors of renewal in the church and agents of evangelization in society. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, hear us that those who, like Thomas, find it difficult to believe in the resurrection may see its proof in the life of authentic Christians. Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, hear us. That all Catholics may avail themselves of the sacrament of confession as the ordinary means to experience the power of the resurrection in their spiritual life. Let us pray. Lord, that all of us may become active promoters of the peace of the risen Christ in our families and society. Let us pray. Let us pray in silence for our personal intentions.
Let us pray. Our Lord and our God, hear us. Lord Jesus, we thank you for the gifts of your resurrection. May your presence and the Holy Spirit may abide by us. By the, may they bring us ever closer to you and make us signs and instruments of the new life you gave us. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. and brothers that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice of your hands for the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good, good of all his holy church. church. Accept, O oh Lord, we pray, the oblations of your people and of those you have brought to new birth that renewed by confession of your name and by baptism that may attain an ending happiness. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Listen up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just our duty and our salvation at all times to acclaim you, O Lord, but on this day above all to praise you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true Lamb who has taken away the sins of the world. By dying, he has destroyed our death, and by rising, restored our life. Amen. Therefore, overcome with paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your name. And even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. <laughs> Therefore, these gifts we pray by sending down your spirit upon them like the Jew Paul, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At that time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion. 
he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and eat of it for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith. To celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Roberto, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, especially those whom we pray for in this Holy Mass and the departed members of our family, batch, and community, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles and all the saints, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. command and form by divine teaching we dare to say.
not peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may always pray from sin and save from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, peace and even my peace, look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Peace be with you. the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world, blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. The body of Christ. Amen. Amen. And now we pray the act of spiritual communion. I believe that all are truly present in the most holy sacraments of the altar. I love thee above all things, I desire to possess you within my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as being loyally here, and I unite myself wholly to you, and I never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Good morning, everyone. In behalf of the class, First of all, I would like to thank Father Ian Espartero for taking time to be with us today um, in this Eucharistic celebration. Father Ian, in behalf of the class, maraming maraming salamat po. Welcome po, sir. Thank you, Paul. We 
we enjoyed especially your reference to that uh, song where um sinugatan mo ang puso ko that was that was very apt for today um we found that uh, very very appropriate for today again marami salamat po father iya sir i'd also like to thank um sister teresa who uh, took the effort to initiate this uh, gathering and um I thank you very much, sister, in behalf of the class uh, for your persistence in bringing us together. I thank you also for bringing your choir imported from St. Rita. I, I thank the choir. They were very good today. I, they were perfect duet. They were a perfect duet. So, marami salamat sa kay sister at ang kanyang choir. I'd also like to make special mention to Mar Ramos. Um, who has um, been letting us here. He has uh, left no stone unturned and tried to pull everyone here. And uh, I assure you, Mar, that uh, we are all very thankful and you have my vote for President Emeritus when, when the counting comes. I am sure you will have lots of votes. And uh, most especially, I would like to thank everyone, my dear classmates, it's been nice uh, this past hour, I've seen you for um, this past hour, and I'm very thankful for all of you, as well as your spouses and your relatives for being here with us. It has made it extra special that we're all here together. I'd like to mention also my mom and my wife and my son who are in California. I'd also like to mention my daughter and my future son-in-law who are in New York who are also here with us now. And the magic of technology has brought us all together. And I am very thankful that we have this opportunity to be together. And the fact that you are all here makes it extra special. A few days ago, Sister Teresa texted me and asked me to deliver a message of thanks. And it got me thinking. And I said, what is there to be thankful for? We are in the midst of a pandemic, a pandemic so grave, so serious that uh, it has caused so much pain, suffering, anger, and death. It has brought countries to its knees. It has brought so much suffering for countless people. And while it used to be that they were only figures and statistics that we would read on TV or newspapers. In recent weeks, I guess all of you will know that it has hit closer to home. Um, personally, in my experience, in the past two weeks alone, two colleagues from the teaching profession have succumbed to the virus and have died. I am now taking care of some of the students of the professor who died. I have a student in UP whose entire household of eight people have been afflicted with the virus, including a six month old baby. My wife recently lost two of her closest friends and my future son-in-law uh, had his mom, dad and sister afflicted with the virus and they're all well now and it's it's very good, and I'm happy to know that they're all well now. But what am I saying? I'm saying that we need to give thanks. Despite our condition, despite our situation, we need to give thanks. And I've come up with some reasons why we should be thankful. First of all, the obvious reason. We are all alive. We are all here. We are all here gathered, healthy, and functioning and perfectly all right. Um, if you come to think about it, we do not have a better claim to life than the two million people who have died already. It could have easily been any one of us. It could have easily been anyone that we have as loved ones. It could have been anybody. And the fact that we are here still alive and kicking and able to share happy moments with each other in our ripe old age, as Father Ian was referring to, he said we are as uh, aged as his father already. But I guarantee you, Father Ian, we are a bit younger than that. But 
back to what I was saying, the fact that uh, we are all still alive means that uh, it is God's will. We have no better claim to life than the two million who died because we are not better people. We are not healthier people. We are not chosen over them. It is simply God's will. And for that reason alone, I think we must all be very thankful. Another reason I think that we should all be very thankful, um, and this is a personal reference to me, is that I have learned to value the life of others. Not only my life, but life of others. As you very well know, um, I, I run a law office and things have not been so good and my practice have diminished quite a bit. And instead of letting people go, because I know that if I let my people go, it's not that person, I will also be affecting the persons who are dependent on that person. And what I've decided is to reduce their number of hours so that they will receive their pay, although diminished as well. Again, what am I saying? I'm saying that this pandemic has put us in a situation where it forces us to realize that there is value in life, our own life and the life of others. And whether you admit it or not, in this one year that has um, uh, driven the entire world to problems, I am sure you will have also learned the value of life. And for that, we should also be very thankful. But most of all, I think we should all be thankful because as Father Ian said earlier, that there is a new life, this being the continuation of Easter. There is also a new beginning that is presented to us. We are in a dire situation and that is correct, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. The tunnel will be long, but there is light at the end of the tunnel. And therefore, in the same way that Father Ian professes new, new life after Easter, I also would say that uh, we should all be very thankful because of new beginnings. New beginnings at the end of the tunnel, the light at the end of the tunnel will make us emerge better, better people with better perspective in life. So yes, we are in a dire situation. We are in a grave situation. We are in a problematic situation. But as I pointed out, there's a lot to be thankful for. And let us thank God for God's will and let us thank God for bringing us all together today. I would like to end um, by quoting something that um, Sister Teresa sent me. Um, with your permission, Sister, um, I will make chismes that since my father died last January 11, Sister has been sending me daily notes, daily messages. And I love Sister Teresa for that. I am eternally grateful for bringing me from the feeling of loss that the death of my father created in my heart to where I am right now. I am in a better place, partly because Sister Teresa has uh, supported me all this while. And I would like to quote Sister with your permission. I have permission. Uh, I would like to quote what you sent me yesterday. Yesterday you said, every challenge we face today makes us stronger tomorrow. The trials of life are intended to make us better, not bitter. Let us accept the challenges along the way and move forward to savor the journey. Hallelujah. So in closing, I thank you for the note, Sister Teresa. Again, Father Ian, maraming salamat po. And dear classmates and our relatives, I love you all and I thank you all. Good morning to everybody. Thank you, Demi. Thank you, sir. Please stand. Let us pray. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that our reception of this Paschal Sacrament may have a continuing effect in our minds and hearts. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Bow your heads and pray for God's blessing. 
through the resurrection of his son, God has redeemed you and made you his children. May he fill you with his joy. Amen. Amen. By faith, you rose with Jesus in baptism. May your lives be holy so that you will be united with him forever. Amen. You have been the recipients of Christ's merciful love. May you be effective signs of his love for others. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Go in peace and love of the risen Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Thanks be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Happy Easter and happy divine. God bless you. Fidela. Sister, can I have a blessing also for my mother? The father, father's there. Going to give a blessing. Birthday sir. Let's go on mute first because father would give the blessing. Aside from Mami Fidela po, sino pong may birthday? Ah. Ay, ano yung sa'yo, Demi? Can you uh, bless also my mom? She's there. Birthday also, sir? Birthday? No, sabi yan, hindi po, just uh, a simple blessing. Ah, sige po. After, after ng birthday po, sir. <laughs> Thank you. And now, our prayer of blessing for the 100th birthday of Mami Fidela. The Lord be with you. Let us pray. God of all creation, we offer you grateful praise for the gift of life, the 100 years of existence in this world that you have bestowed upon our dear beloved Mami Fidela. Hear her prayers. As she recalls, her birthday on this month and rejoices in your gifts of life, love, peace, and hope 
together. Bless her with your presence and surround her with your love that she may enjoy many happy years, all of them pleasing to you. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Let us pray one our Father, one Hail Mary, and one Glory be for the birthday intentions of our dear beloved Mommy Fidela. All together, our Father, who art in heaven, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of the womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners. Now and at the hour of our death, amen. Glory to the Father, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, as it was in the beginning, and now and forever, amen. Happy birthday, Mami Fidela. Thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Sabi mo, thank you. Welcome, welcome. Thank you. 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 Sabi mo. <laughs> and not welcome now, welcome. Not, not. Thank you for taking care of mommy and our okay, okay. brother Ruben. Thank you, thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Salamat po. Salamat everyone. Sir Demi, ano pong name ng mommy po niya, sir? Si Virginia uh, Father, Virginia, Virginia. At ano yung anong ano po natin for mommy intention, sir? Uh, special intention lang, Father. Special intention, sige po. Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lord and Father Almighty and Eternal God, by your blessing, you gave us strength and support in our frailty, especially brought about by our age as well as weaknesses. Turn with kindness towards your servant, Virginia. Free her from all illnesses, weaknesses, and human limitations and restore her to good health in mind, body, spirit, and whole being, so that in the sure knowledge oh. of your goodness, we bless you. As we ask for Christ, our Lord, we trust our dear beloved, Mommy Virginia, to the intercession of the Blessed Mother Mary as we pray. Hail Mary, Mary the, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us, sinners, now and at the end of our life. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now, the beginning, now and ever shall be world without end. And now, our blessing for all those who are present, especially as we seek God to protect us from all harms and dangers, especially from illnesses and weaknesses. May the Lord, who alone is Lord and Redeemer, bless you. May He give you health to your body and holiness to your soul. And may the Lord bring you safely to eternal life as your journey to this world. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Happy Sunday to all of you. God bless you po. Thank you. Stay safe. And Thank you. Bye. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Bye-bye po. Bye-bye, Father. Ay, naku, Christian, nandyan ka. Salamat naman. Welcome to Sister. Ah, sister. Thank you, Father. Ano na ba to, Sister? Kikahan na ulit. Thank you, Father Aya. Welcome po. Kikahan na ulit ito. <laughs>
Wala na, wala na nagbabantay tsikahan na. Bye everybody. Thank you for your time. Na wala, hindi ko pa nakita. Thank you. Thank you, sister, for the mass. Okay, thank you. Thank you for the blessing. Thank Demi, you for your blessings. Thank you, sister. Thank you, Pink. Sister, 18 Bye. tayo. 18? Yes. We will leave you to the your chismisan. Uh, okay. <laughs> taga, ano, San Sebastian. <laughs> para mag-enjoy kayo. Okay. Ma, goodbye na tayo, ma. Okay. Bye. Bye-bye. Okay, sister. Bye. By bye the way, bye I bye said bye. Thank you, thank you. I got Sir, pictures you, from us. Pinadala ko kay Jamie at saka kay Don Pedro. So, andala na lang niya sa inyo. Pictures. Okay, okay. Oh, okay. Good bye. Good night. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Sister, sister, may question. Oh, may okay. question ako. Yung, yung bang ginawa natin ngayong misa, good niya sa amin sa California, sa bukas, hindi na ako yung simba. Oo, oh, oo. Oh. Anticipated Good number to Mar. 18. Maganda. Hey, oh, oh. Oh, last time 12. 12 last time. Sa, sa 2023, let's move. Oh, welcome, Christian. Oh. Just looking for... Hello, Christian. Hi, Christian. Sige, sa susunod, abisuhan ko kayo. Sa 2023, guest of honor ka, sister. Sa Grand Reunion. Ay, nako. Ano ko gusto anong balita doon sa mga Chinese vessels na nandito? Bye, sister. Bye, bye. Pwede na, pwede na bang umuwi? O, pwede na. <laughs> Wala bang balita? Right. Ano pang Juan News sa, ano, sa news dito sa China? Nandito sa ano, West Philippine Seas. Hindi yata namin pinakikalaman ng West Philippine City. <laughs> they, they keep us sister, bullying. Sister, sabi ni Doc Cesar, magpabakuna ka daw. <laughs> magpabakuna. Nasa na si Cesar? Oh, expert opinion ni Doc Cesar yun. Sabihin ko saan. Hindi, may mga tablesas na yan. Meron kami. Yung bark na malunggay. Ilaga lang yung bark na malunggay. Tapos tatlong baso. Isang galon na tubig. Yung bark na silaki ng palad. Tapos ilaga, inumin. There's a fire. There's a fire. Okay. One yun. Three days lang. Kailangan pa yung ano? Yung vaccine. <laughs> Ay, hindi lang tayo matawa. <laughs> Binigit nila yung vaccination. Kasi <laughs> nagpabakuna ba kayo lahat? Kami po, yes. So. Oh, sige, salamat naman. Hindi, <laughs> wala pa. Ito ko si sister ayaw. <laughs> si sister ayaw lang niya. Hindi, pagtapos na ang buong mundo niyan kung ano. Hindi pa ako kumbinsido eh. <laughs> oh, okay. Ayos ka po sister. Oh. Hindi dinig ko masalit ako. Lunch time na kami. Hindi na ako sister. Sige, mag-ano na rin kami. Doon na. Uh, Sige. God, God's go. voice ang Bye -bye, kami. Del na ng lunch. Hindi ko kayo Bye -bye. pinig ka. Bye -bye. <laughs> Sige po sister. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Sa 2023... January yun, no? January? Di ba? Ano na na? Reunion? Actually, 2023, January. Ah, yung sa Baste. Oo. Oh, oh. Sa Baste, oo. Oh. Yes, sister, yes. Oh, sige. Oh, oh. January. 
Hopefully, wala ng pandemic. Oh, at saka, sana naman ay sobra na kayo sa 20. Thank you pala sa mga nag-attend ng aking ano, perpetual uh, ano, perpetual profession. 21 noon. 21 na estudyante noon. 1970. Si Mel kasi tinawagan ako noon. First week of uh, August. Nag-congratulate siya sa akin. Sabi niya, congratulations, sister. Sabi ko, bakit? Hindi ba, sister, ikakasal kayo forever kay Jesus? Ay, naku, sabi ko, Mel, sa kwan pa yun. Sa akin si pa. Tapos sabi niya, pwedeng pumunta, sister. mag -attend. Sabi ko, pwede naman. Hindi ko akalain. 21, lahat. Eh, Nandiyan ka ba, Arthur? Sumama ka ba? Basta oh, yata. Yeah. 21. Kayo yung una kong bisita tsaka huli. Kasi 4 o'clock yung ceremonias eh. Tapos sa ganyan, dumating nandun na kayo sa ilalim na makopa na <laughs> 1 o'clock nandun na kayo eh. So, last year, Golden Jubilee ko, pero wala ko dun sa ano, ceremonias. Kasi lockdown ako dun sa Palawan, dun sa Bilingan sa Merisal. Nagkuhan ako doon sa mga natibo. Tapos, doon na. How many months ako doon bago nakabalik sa puerto. So. Kaya pala concerned na concerned kayo sa West Philippine Sea. <laughs> sa Palawan eh. eh hindi. Lahat naman. Kasi na doon ang natural resources na. Ang Pilisal na pala eh. Di ba? Kaya ang kunang bobombayin dito sa mga ano, sa mga siyudad. Kasi ano, ang population dito napakalaki sa mga dense population. Ala, tawa ka dyan, Arthur. Kaya alam ko nakakarating ka ng mga summer dyan sa iyong solar na yan. Diba? At sa Palawan. Ha? Meron na bit? Meron? Uh, Saan banda? Nagpunta ka ako sa Kuyo. Ah, oh, Kuyo? Mm. Oo, oh, oh. ako sa Kuyo. Ah, talaga. Maganda doon ah. ah. Windsurfing capital raw ng Philippines yun. Windsurfing. Uh -huh. Magandang Kuyo. Magandang Kuyo. Mag-outing mag na lang tayo sa Palawan. <laughs> oh, oh. Tapos na sa, sa 2023. Oo. Oh. Oh. Ano ba yan? Ano yung ano, surfing? May deep sea diving din eh sa Palawan. Mm. Ah, marami doon. Ayan, yung mga doktor dyan, yung mga abogado. Mga ano, tulungan naman yung mga mahirap doon. Mag-free. Sige, sa Palawan sige. tayo sa 2023. Oh, sige. Mar, hi, you see. Diba, marami kang contact doon, sister? Ha? Marami kang contact doon eh. Meron naman din. Pal Palawan is the last frontier. Oh, no longer now. Na ano na ito? Talagang doon na ang Palawan. Maraming magandang lugar doon. Maraming, maraming maganda. San Vicente, di ba? O, ang sa Haban, Fort Barton, San Vicente. Hmm. Sa El Nido, commercialized na masyado. Oo. Hmm. Parang Buracay. Marami din doon kay Sarisal. Maraming mga ano, natural buracay. Sister, malapit yun sa Puerto Princesa, no? Ang alin. Yung sinasabi mong Palawan sa 2023? O Palawan naman ang kwarto. Capital. Ah, I, I mean, mas malapit dun, malapit dun sa in, sa inyong ah, malayo. Puerto Princesa. Ang, malayo. Ang Puerto Princesa. Malayo ba? Ang, ang, so, mas malapit sa Koron. Oh. Iba, hiwalay na Islang Koron. Islang. 
Isla ang koron. Iwalay. Bandang ah, okay. Bawate ang, ang koron. Where to present na sa Central Island din. Ang Busuanga yun, Busuanga koron. Oh, ah, yes. Tapos yung Kalawas Island ah. din sa koron. Ako, no, walang padres. Nakarating ka na doon. Ano doon, no? 